Hi, this is Jessica Walliser for Savvy Gardening. Today we're going to head to the vegetable garden to learn about a pest that has only one host plant but can cause a significant amount of damage to the garden. And that pest is the asparagus beetle. It is early July and we have an issue with asparagus beetles um, going on in here. And so the first thing I want to show you here, if I can zoom in on it pretty closely, is an adult asparagus beetle. So you can see it here crawling around on my very stained fingers. That's the adult asparagus beetle. They have sort of a um, rust red colored head, a black body, and then those sort of creamy white markings on them. So that is what the adults look like. And then they mate and lay eggs. Here you'll see three uh, asparagus beetle eggs lined up on the tip of my, my finger there, see them? They sort of stand them up on end along the edges of the spears or along the ferns, and then they hatch into the larva, which are sort of army green colored and um, slug-like. You can see this one here. There's one over here. See that there? And the larvae actually are the ones that do the majority of the feeding on these asparagus ferns. And they can weaken them over time and um, you know deplete them of nutrients. Here's some larvae that are pretty fully grown. And then eventually they'll drop to the ground and they'll pupate into adults that will then emerge for uh, next spring's generation. So there's a lot of different ways that you can control asparagus beetles. One of my favorite is to actually come out into the garden every day with a broom and sort of um, sweep off the top of the plants so that um, you can knock these beetle larvae to the ground where uh, predators like spiders and big-eyed bugs and minute pirate bugs will gobble them up at, at the ground level before they can um, cause a lot of damage to the plants. So you could also use a spinosad-based um, pesticide. You can see sort of here what some of the damage is, and that spinosad is safe for um, even certified organic operations. So this is one that's been pretty heavily fed upon there, and then you can see sort of the undamaged ferns, what they should look like. Thanks so much for learning more about the asparagus beetle. We hope you'll subscribe to the Savvy Gardening channel for more great gardening information.